It's the final of the Euro 2008. What a competition it's been. But Denmark will take on Croatia. Come what may today, we will have a new European champions. The last time winners France, well, they ended up losing to Croatia in their semi-final 24-23, while Denmark beat Germany 26-25. The bronze medal has been decided. France emphatically beating Germany earlier today, 36-26. But up next, it's the big one. It's the final everyone is waiting for. Fans have been flying in, and there's great support for both teams here, as Denmark will take on Olympic champions Croatia. The Royal Guard are here in strength today to see us into this final. And it has been quite a competition. Denmark started off with a defeat in the main round against the host Norway, just 26-27. But since then, they have been on a roll. No one has beaten them. They then went on to beat Macedonia and Russia in the main round. Big surprise, of course, was that Russia then failed to make it through to the main round for the first time. And in the main round, Denmark then beat Croatia 30-20. So a chance here today for the Croatians to avenge that defeat earlier in the competition because previously when they'd met in the World Championships last year and two years ago in the Euro 2006, it was Croatia who'd won on both occasions, only by the odd goal, but they'd won nevertheless. But Denmark gave them a real hiding here in the group match, and Croatia have a point to make. And then Denmark went on to beat Poland and Slovenia and book their place as the uh, top place team in their group. And they beat Germany 26-25 in the semi-final. Croatia, for their part, faultless in the preliminary round, beat Poland, the Czech Republic, and Slovenia. Then got that hammering from Denmark. It woke them up. They went on to beat Macedonia. Draw with Norway in a do-or-die match. The winner of that game going through to the semi-final. They just edged it. It was enough a draw to see the Croatians through. And in the semi-final yesterday, Balic led his men superbly to a 24-23 win over the defending champions France to set up the final here today between Denmark, a nation who has never won a gold medal in men's handball. Their women, well, they've won European, World and Olympic gold. But the men, well, this will be a first if they can do it. A fanfare now will prepare us for the team's entry as the spectators cheer their respective teams. Superb atmosphere here in the Hockenshalle in Lillehammer. There, the Croatian side waiting to come in. Fanfare from the Royal Guard as the fair play EHF flag is brought in. Flag of the two finalists. Uh, it really has been a competition. The Danes are looking absolutely awesome. A great mixture of new young players as well as experience. While Croatia, well, you look at the lineup with the likes of Balic and Mitlicic and Dominikovic and Vori, all hugely experienced players. But they too are rebuilding. They have a few youngsters coming in as well. In fact, on average, Denmark, you could say, have more experience. The average number of international matches for the Danes is 109, while for Croatia, it's down at 70. Height wise, they're roughly matched. Denmark, 190. Croatia 192 on average. Croatia even the slightly younger team. And it should be a great occasion. Well, the teams are now going to be introduced individually as they enter the hall. So in comes Renato Sulic, line player. And the hero they all want to see, Ivano Balic, has been superb, 40 goals in the competition so far. When he ticks, Croatia ticks. Dominikovic, the defense specialist, <laughs> softening up his teammates. That's Vori, the line player. He's been great as well, 20 goals so far. Oljaric coming in. Metlicic, the right back. Ljubo Vukic didn't play in the semi final. The left winger brought in though today. And number 27, Ivan Subic. 
So that is the Croatian lineup. The last player coming in, Ivan Kupic, the right winger, relative newcomer to the squad with just 10 caps. So Denmark will get an introduction. <laughs> Both teams so well supported. Kaspervit just come in. Stream is pouring out of the Danish crowd. There's Kaspervit, best goalkeeper of the competition at the moment. 40% save rate. Oh, the atmosphere is going to be fabulous. Some more coming. A couple of teammates there. That was uh, Lars Jørgensen, defence specialist, getting a hug from Balic on the way past. They both play the club handball for Portland, San Antonio in Spain. Well, this is exactly what you wanted for the Euro final. He's a line player, Knudsen, superb player he is too. There's Joachim Bolson, the tractor they call him, playmaker. Drives through the middle. I think he's mostly held together by tape, to be honest. He's got injuries on ankles, knees, elbows. Watching Grimace with pain through matches, but he just keeps going. Powerhouse at the back. There's Ulrich Wilbeck, the Danish trainer. Successfully coached the Danish women's team to many titles before retiring from the national team. But when the men's team was struggling, and they asked him, well, would you come back and try and do the same for the man? And he's done just that. And here they are today in the final. Well, the referees for today from Spain, Vicente Breto on the left and Jose Antonio Huelin on the right. Well, uh, Denmark, who took bronze in the last European Championships two years ago and again in the World Championships just last year in Germany. But here today, come what may, they will go one better, that's for sure, as they are in the final. And neither of these teams has won the European Championship before. The Croatians, well, they are the defending Olympic champions and they were world champions in 2003. If they win here today, this will be their, their first win in European Championships. And now we will have the national anthems, starting with Croatia. First, Denmark. Well, maybe a change in program. After the introduction, they're going to reverse the roles. It'll be the anthem of Denmark. An emotional rendition, and uh, now it will be the Croatian national anthem. The Croatian national anthem.
rousing cheer from the other end of the hall and the Croatian supporters and the teams being introduced now to European Handball Federation officials Jan Turk handing over the commemorative flag as the teams wheel around to shake hands before they enter the fray in the final of Euro 2008 here in Lillehammer in Norway Again, Jönsson and uh, Balic, great friends in their club, Portland, San Antonio in Spain. And Balic, so much is going to depend on him and how he will perform. Toss of the coin there, Medlicic, captain of Croatia on the right, and uh, Kaspervit on the left for Denmark. And Kaspervit, who heads the lineup for Denmark, 40% save rate, 38% of the semi-final, was utterly brilliant. Boltzen, though, in the attack, Will be quite telling. We'll see how he goes. Michael Knudsen on the line has been great, but Lars Christiansen, their best scorer on 37. That's Ulrich Wilbeck, their trainer. He's done so much for them. Let's look at the Croatian lineup now. And of course, Balic is the man. If they can stop him, it makes such a difference. The captain, Mitlicic, on the right back with 26 goals, brings a great dimension. And they connect really well with Bori, the line player. If they've had a slight problem, though, it's on the wing. They're missing Zernic and Zomba, both injured. And that's uh, told a little bit here. Lino Sheva, the trainer, committed everything to this. So much so that, uh, in fact, after their match against Norway, he uh, had some heart palpitations. They'd be taken to hospital. There's Balic, 40 goals so far in the competition. What a superb performance. And Dominikovic, 144 internationals. The uh, defense specialist, if he holds it together at the back and keeps Croatia together then it will be a difficult task for the Danes to come through. Jesper Jensen, one of their playmakers, 30 years of age, plays for Skien. And Lars Christiansen, well, he's emblematic for them, isn't he? 37 goals so far in the competition. And penalties, 21 successful shots and 22 attempts. But he has scored in his career for Denmark 1,176 goals in 257 internationals. Well, I do believe we just briefly saw Mirja Zomba, the right winger for Croatia, who's injured in the crowd there, cheering on his team. Here we go then, the final of Euro 2008. Croatia in the blue strip, throw off, playing from left to right. Denmark in their traditional red tops and white shorts. Remember the last time these two teams met? Barely a week ago, Denmark winning 30-20. Their finest hour, white man, I'd say, but it's Croatia who opened the scoring. Metlicic. I say on the uh, last week when Denmark won, Balic misfired a bit, scoring just three from nine attempts. The difference was to some extent for Denmark. Great defense from them. 6 0 defense. Even with Balic, and it worked for them. Kaspervit saving 46% of the shots coming his way. Into the wing. Yes, leveled it. Beautifully done. Hans Lindberg. He scored seven against them last week. Free throw, good defense. Lars Jönsson. Balic comes on, not being used in... Uh, in defense, he swaps with Dominikovic. Try and spare his energy. Balic. That's going to be a yellow card. Knudsen, the line player. It's a shame they stopped play just then, the uh, Spanish referees, because uh, there's a bit of space to go wide. Balic with his <laughs> teammate, Lars Jönsson. So having the uh, task of uh, holding the center of the Danish defense together with Kasper Nielsen. Balic. Oh, unlucky. Deflection. But they all count. Metlicic gets his second with a bit of help from the Danish defense. Kaspervit could do nothing about it. I think it's Jönsson. Blocks it, and Witt just couldn't get back. 2-0 for Croatia. Well, Denmark, who've had a real problem at right-back position. 
They only have, uh, that's a free throw for Denmark and a yellow card for Medlicic. Denmark have only one left-handed right back, that's Sunagor, but uh, he's scored 12 goals, only 36% success rate. Very poor in the semi-final yesterday, where he scored one from five. And they've actually started this match with Lasse Boysen, normally a left-back, he's right-handed, on the ball now, playing at the right-back position. And of course, he's got a very hard shot, but he's got to come around in the middle and cut back in to get the angle to shoot. Alilovic saving that last one, three minutes in. Croatia with possession, 2-0 up. Igor Voj struggling to make some space for himself on the line. Knudsen and Lindberg not relenting. Free throw. I was mentioning earlier on the... Uh, critical match against Norway when uh, Croatia needed at least a draw and just just got that comfortable save they went back to the changing rooms and you know Sherba collapsed and some heart palpitations had to be taken to hospital he's okay though got through yesterday's semi-final with France absolutely fine so of course Spella bears let back and uh, bolts in the line play goes in on the line trying to flatten Things a little bit to give them some space. Of course, Spellebert tries to suck the defense in. Instead, he runs into the defensive wall. It's an attacker's foul. Off goes Dominikovic. Croatia seem happy to move the ball up reasonably slowly. Mind you, the Danes are going back so quickly anyway that they seem happy just to take it up and then wait for Balic to join them. Pitch. Oh, well, Kasperwit nearly beaten there, deceived by the bounce. Valcic has shot, bounced a long way out and started rising as uh, Vit was going down, but it uh, luckily for him skimmed over the uh, the crossbar. So coming up to five minutes, the defenses are doing their job here. It's still only two 0 to Croatia. Croatians with this 3-2-1 defense, Vori at the front. And the Danes have to work their way through it. Nicely taken, the break is on. Kupic. And it's 3-0. The 21-year-old. He's had to step in. With some fairly big boots there, because uh, Verdam Zernic and, of course, Mirza Jomba, both unavailable through injury. Jomba. Of course, the uh, prolific goal scorer, 648 goals and 161 appearances, sorely missed. But Kupic holding his own here, he scored 15 in the competition so far. Free throw for Denmark. At the moment, they've failed to break through the Croatian defence. Bors Pelebert. Oh. Is he going to try and make some changes, I wonder? Bielbeck, the coach, has gone out to the side, but they get a free throw. Yellow card. In fact, they've given a... For Knudsen stepping over the line, I assume. But possession has gone back to Croatia. The Danish crowd don't like it. Bielbeck casts his arms to the sky. Struggling to understand the decision as well. Well, a lot of people said this final could revolve around uh, how the two teams get on in the first 10 minutes or so at the moment. The Croatians are looking the sharper. Well, Dominikovic there defending inside the area. Got away lightly. Metlicic tries to go through. Well, the Danes thought that was uh, an attacker's foul. It's not the way the Spanish referees see it. Metlicic, Balic. Oh, yes. Well, the defence split open. He faked the pass, took the ball back as if he was going to feed it back to the middle. And as the Danish defenders relaxed, passed to Vori, the 27-year-old. And it's 4-0. A dreadful start by Denmark in this Euro 2008 final. 
I say they've been so impressive going through this competition after that initial uh, narrow defeat against Norway. Oh, at least a yellow card. Balcic. Tonsi Balcic, 29-year-old, who plays for Adima Leon in Spain. Perpetrating a rather nasty foul there, pulling the arm back as Boyson tried to go through. Bolson's gone in on the line. Boyson! Well, there we go. It's taken seven minutes and 40 seconds, but finally, Denmark are up and running. Denmark, first goal in the final score by Lena Ford. But more amazingly is the fact that this is only their second shot on goal in nearly eight minutes of play. It says something about the uh, Croatian 3-2-1 defence. Won't count, holding on the line, and I think it was Igor Vori holding one of the defenders, closed his, uh, his arm on him. Well, suddenly they're up and running. Lars Jørgensen, maybe a defence specialist, but showing that he can put them away as well. Great shot by the 29-year-old. Two-four. A change for Croatia. Blazenko Lakovic, who scored their winner in the semi final yesterday against France. He's gone in at left back. Lakovic, who plays for Flensburg in Germany. The Croatian team made up of uh, nine players from their champion uh, club, Croatia Osiguranje, formerly known as RK Zagreb. The rest of them, principally expats, playing their club handball in Spain and Germany, as we see that incident again. They gave Medlicic his free throw. There's the man, Bolson, who held him up as he tried to go through. Mishandled by Lakovic. Once again, Bolson out so quickly. An uncompromising defender latches on perfectly at nine meters before he can come in. Vori trying to make space for Balic. An awkward shot came in low, but Witt stops it. Up come Denmark. Jönsson looking for options. Olsen. Oh, he's going to go through. Great save by Alilovic. And a 22-year-old goalkeeper. And also plays Adam Leon in Spain. Beats Bolson. Done so well to break through to six meters. Well, Bolton's gone into the right back position. Boyson will get a better chance at shooting now down the middle. But I wonder if they should be moving Spellerberg out and maybe changing him. Spellerberg, not shy at the moment. He's running across goal rather than in. And uh, constantly either looking to move the ball to the center or to the line. He's got to get some shots going, Spellerberg. First real connection he's made with Knudsen on the line. Denmark attacking 4-2 now, Bolton staying there. Knudsen feeds it out, an attacker's foul again. The Spanish referee's not liking the uh, Danish uh, close style of play. We'll look at this. Well, I have to say that Dominikovic had run through the area to get there. I think a tough call against the Danes. So we're past the 10 minute mark and it's still only 4-2. The turnovers, Denmark have suffered five, Croatia just the one so far. The Danes do just need to concentrate a little bit more. Very closed angle. Well, Vitz didn't show much of the goal, but it was just enough for Ivan Kupic to slide it in by the post. Closed angle. 5-2 the score. So Jensen will go into the center position now in place of Bolson. Spellebert has got to shoot. He had the position to shoot. Well, Boyson makes up for it on the right hand side. 3 5. Great shot. Well, that's the boy who plays for German club Lemgo in the Bundesliga. 255 goals he scored already for Denmark in 91 appearances. 
Balic. Still at the center of the Croatian attack, but nevertheless, Denmark still favoring this 6-0 defense they've used all the way through the competition, but there is depth to it. They're very quick, so they are moving up as soon as the ball's coming across. They're getting up to cover the players to try and meet them at the nine-meter line. Balic has moved to the left. Lakovic. Yellow card for Lars Jørgensen. For some holding. And Renato Sulic, line player. Medlicic trying to find the line and he's failed. Plenty of options here. Lars Christiansen. And scores and they're within one. Denmark's all-time highest scorer. Lars Jönsson takes the pass, destined for the line player. Not the greatest of passes out there to Christiansen. Controlled it well and beats the tall two meters, Ali Lovic. Rather glum looking uh, Dominikovic there on the bench. Along with Igor Bori. Free throw. Well, Balic is being warned by the Spanish referee. Cut out the theatrics. Balic argues back. The boos coming in from the uh, Croatian crowd who don't like their idol. Being taken to task by the referees. Another free throw. Metlicic fouled. Trying unsuccessfully to get past Jensen. Balic. Oh, that's nice. Quickly saw the opportunity for Lakovic on the left-hand side. The Danish defense mashed in front of Balic. And there were holes over on the far side. The conversation there between Kasper Witt and the other goalkeeper, Peter Henriksen. Kasper Witt, two saves to make shots only so far in this game. But Balic still making all the difference there. Good conversation with the assistant coach Goluca. But this uh, Croatian defense, though, is working well. This 3 2 1. It's making the Danes work really hard at getting in. Yes! And they're back within one. And it's Lars Christiansen, the winger, who'd come in as an extra line player, slotted himself in where the space was. And Boris Belabert looked like he was about to launch a shot. Three players jumped to block. And instead, he passed it down to Christiansen. His second. Well, if you count the goals from this uh, competition, Lars Christiansen has scored now more than 1,200 for Denmark. Nearly intercepted. Lakovic. Balic is moving around, he's gone in at right back now. Passive play is being worn by the referees. Lakovic had to shoot quickly. Kaspervit was alert though and deflects it away. So 15 minutes in to the final of Euro 2008 and Denmark after dreadful start have steadied things here. And they're trading now just by one goal. They were 2-5 down at one stage. Jensen, oh, he should have cut in, he was going wide, he was going around the outside of the defence. Without diving in, he couldn't suck in the defence and pass the ball out. Wilbeck urges them on. Balic runs in very quickly, he's noticed that the Danes were still in the process of doing a substitution to bring in Kasper Nielsen. Spoljaric. Now come into the attack at the back in place of Metlicic. Spoljaric, normally a centre player. Free throw. Fouled by Kasper Nielsen, 32-year-old, who together with uh, two of the other Danish players play for Flensburg in the German Bundesliga. 
Balic. Igor Vori is trying to put the screen on for him, but Lars Jürgensen at the back is doing a brilliant job. There he is, holding it all together. And there's the reason Metlicic isn't on, receiving treatment for a blow to the head on a follow-through with a shot. And, uh, well, I should see a doctor about that if I were you. A uh, superb atmosphere in the hall here. Enormous support for both teams. That's off a defender. It'll be a corner to Croatia. Oh, a bit of showboating there. It hasn't paid off. The break is on. Straight down the middle. Oh, off the post. Unlucky. Could have leveled it. Jörnsen, a quick one-two on the right-hand side with Hans Lindberg. Three minutes now with no goals in this game. Another free throw. Jensen again holding up. Balic. Lakovic. Good save by Vit. They're trying to move it quick. Phase two attack. It was too slow. Jensen. Just couldn't maintain the pace. And in the end, Denmark have to pull it back and will make their defensive substitutions. Back on comes Spillerbeer and Boysen. All the way through, no. Surely he was inside, wasn't he? Given and Denmark a level 18 minutes in. Let's have a look at this again. Lands, no, he was out. Good call by the referees. Right through the legs of Alilovic. Having been three adrift at one point, the Danes are on level terms. Five minutes without scoring now for Croatia. Denmark have mounted a comeback. Oh, great save by Kasper Bitt. Croatia still have possession. Balic did a great job one-on-one -on -one to get through to the six-meter line. Kasper Witt. Oh, his percentage is improving now. Look at this. Kasper Witt, who plays his club handball for Barcelona, comes across Balic in the league every now and again. Kasper Witt now five saves from 11 shots. That's a 45% success rate. Ooh. Well, Nielsen pushed out to Mark Balic, and it just left the space for the follow-through by Metlicic. And unfortunately, the save by uh, Witt comes to nothing as the long pass on the break is just too long and Denmark have given possession away well both teams at the moment on a 40% success rate with their shooting they're both taking exactly the same 15 shots to get six goals each but more to the point though for Croatia they've only scored three out of ten long-range shots from nine meters Denmark have scored their three long-range shots from four. And only one fast break apiece so far in this game. Balic, no way through. Come back, it's a free throw. Atlicic, they're putting the block on for him. Well, they needed that. Six minutes since they last scored. Balic driving in and putting the block on together with a line player to create the space. Ten minutes remaining in the first half.
Jensen back to Boyson. So awkward trying to get into a shooting position. Now he's happier. He's got himself over on the left side of the court. Makes a difference straight away. Beautiful. Looked like he was going to shoot through the gap in the middle. Dominikovic dived for it, as did Medicic. And in the end, he reached over to the left. Blasted through the goalkeeper. Four from five for Boyson. Free throw. Well, for Denmark, Kasper Witt and uh, Lars Jørgensen doing a great job in the center of the defense, holding things together. Shake of the head there by Renato Sulic, the 28-year-old line player. Plays his club handball in Slovenia for Selje Pivovarna. And he drops back in again. Turning the bench over between Vori and uh, Sulic at the moment. Oh, Balic all the way through. And that's the turn of speed that he's famous for. You don't have to give him a lot of space, but he suddenly spotted it. Darted back the way he came. Look at that. And straight through. 8-7, the edge in front again. Is this the one title Croatia have never won? While for Denmark, well, they've never won any title, their men's national team. Uh, when I say that, of course, I mean World Championship, Olympic or European. But this could all change today. It's their chance. Spellebert still uh, shy of shooting. Jensen isn't. He's leveled it. 8 all. Lucky play by uh, Lindberg, the winger, who'd come in on the line. He just managed to put the block on to create enough space for Jensen to shoot through. Medlicic still receiving treatment on a right ankle injury. Trying to get him back on again. They need him for the moment. Poljaric is playing there. He's normally a playmaker. Here he comes. Balic. Free throw. It's Knudsen who held up. Croatian playmaker. A sudden push out there by uh, Kasper Nielsen to try and uh, break up the Croatian attack. Well, Jonsson goes crashing to the ground after an encounter with uh, Renato Sulic. It's a free throw for Croatia, though. Let's have a look. That's the other incident. Uh, on the attack as uh, Valcic was brought to halt by Jensen. It was over to the right that uh, Jensen got involved in that tussle. Balic. Sulic trying to put the block on, very close angle, did it well. Well, he might be the last-minute stand in Ivan Kupic, but he's having a great game here. He hasn't missed yet on the wing. Second-line player's gone in. Lars Christiansen. All right, two-minute suspension. The foul on Knudsen has seen Spoljaric sent off. 28-year-old from Osiguranje. Picks up the first one of the game. And there it was. A rash shove. Somewhat unnecessary. And it's a bit of space now for Denmark. Maybe Bo Spellebert. We'll get a few shots in now that the 3-2-1 defense has had to flatten itself to 5-0. Still, he won't shoot. Into the wing, yes! The uh, Croatians struggling to get the width on the defense, being one player short. And a Hans Lindberg, who plays for Hamburg in the German Bundesliga, levels the score, 9 all. Denmark's goal scored by player number 24, Hans Lindberg. 
First shot of the game for him, and the Danes are really going out aggressively. 3-3 defence, as they did against Germany, and they forced the mistake out of Balic, who's run straight into Lindberg, given possession away. Let's have a look at this again. And uh, bowls him over. Ah, good play by Denmark. The clock has been stopped. Six minutes remaining in the first half, and Balic can't believe it. He's gone off anyway, as he does every time. Change the goalkeeper for Croatia. Alilovic has gone off. Vjenceslav Somic is on. He played brilliantly in the second half yesterday against France. Into the wing again, Lindbergh. The Danes finding space on the right-hand side as the Croatians are short-handed. And for the first time in the game, Denmark are in front. Denmark in the lead for the first time. Goal scored by David, number 24. And on the bench, Lino Sherva is walking up and down, pacing, remonstrating with all the players, urging them on as Denmark continue with this aggressive defence, 3-3. Balic under pressure makes a... An unusual mistake. Can't get through passive plays being warned, and they've lost it. Good play, Denmark again. Great pass, but he could have followed through. Last Christiansen, and they're two in front. What a turnaround. It's been a disastrous two minute suspension. Three goals in that two-minute suspension, which has just ended. Croatia back to full strength. Oh, mistake by Witz. Soft shot by Metlicic, who's finally back on court again after receiving treatment on his right ankle. Knudsen snuck in behind, and they're on a roll, the Danes. has replaced Sulic on the line. Out at the back, they've reverted to Tonsi Valcic at the left back. It's gone wide. Corner, though, it came off a defender. Igor Bori. Lost his shoe in that last action, just trying to get it back on again. Balic tries a long-range effort straight into Kasper Witt. And the clock has been stopped. The ball's just picked up some dirt from the back of the goal. There's a lot of resin the players use, as you can see on that ball, to get a better grip on it. There is a spare ball at the table, but uh, instead, Jose Antonio Huelin, the referee, says, well, just wipe it off. There was the save. Another great challenge by Balic. Straight into the middle of Kasper Witt. Is now standing on figures of 38% with six saves from 16 shots. Being back at full strength, Croatia can resume with their 3-2-1 defense. Again, Lindbergh not shooting. A uh, spell I beg your pardon. They slow it down again, bring the ball back and wait for uh, the entrance of Balic. And I do wonder why Spellerberg just won't shoot over there. Meanwhile, back here in the attack. Oh, and a two-minute suspension. 
Jensen is off. And the referee, Vicento Bretto, spotting an elbow flying around. Two Let's have a look there, number seven. Uh, it looks more like a high hold, I think. It just uh, came close to getting, uh, getting him around the neck. So now it's Denmark, who are short-handed. Balic has got a bit more space to operate with. What a shame that pass wasn't better. He could have fed the ball out to the wing instead. Kupic steps on the line, gives possession away, and stupidly argues with the referee, and he's been sent off. But I'm not sure whether it's just because he wasn't, uh, he wasn't felt that he put the ball out quickly enough. Dominikovic probably tells him what he thinks of that too. Takes the ball. Well, no, it's not standing on the line. There you go. We can see the signal from the referee there. Basically barging his way backwards into the defender to make space. That's how he gave it away. And then uh, arguing with the referee. He's got him sent off for two minutes. We're into the last two minutes of the first half. Both teams short-handed. Still Dominikovic is pushing a long way out, trying to steal the ball. Bolson has come back into the fray. Attackers foul. And there's Vori contemplating his last actions there. And there's Jensen. Vasquez Jensen gains us to get it away. Cross court. Hans Lindberg scores 13 10. Timeout has been called by Croatia as we watch the uh, goal again. See the reaction from Medicic who was chasing him. As Hans Lindberg celebrates. So, Lino Sherba just trying to steady his team here. He's called a timeout. There in the right of the picture is Lavko Voluca, assistant coach. A legend playing for initially Yugoslavia and then later Croatia. But, uh, the initiative has now very much swung back towards Denmark, who are defending much better than they were. Balic, unable to make the difference that you would expect from him. He's only scored one from five attempts, just as the last time when these two teams met in the uh, main round. Balic is struggling with a very, very good unified defence. A lot of people thought Denmark should defend deep because of Balic catch him early. The Danes don't agree with the philosophy. They're happy to sit back and have the likes of Jönsson and Nielsen pick him up early. Just move up and pick him up early and stop him coming through that way. And so far, it's working. So here we go again. One minute to go in the first half. Croatia, the Danes, with no line player to worry about just now, pushing players forwards, and another miss by Balic, definitely not on song here today. Gives possession to Denmark. He breaks through, kind of shots he'd always put away, but straight into the middle of Kaspervic. He didn't have to move very much. And Medlicic arguing with him, if you passed it across, I could have got a shot on. The clock's been stopped, they're just cleaning up the ball again. The Danish spectators, though, delighted with the way things are going here. After a dreadful start, when Denmark went 2-5 behind, they've really picked things up. Since then, it's been an 11-5 exchange, and Balic just misfiring here today. And in just a few seconds, Denmark will be back to full strength. Timeout has been called by Ulrich Wilbeck. I guess he knew he was going to do it because the clock ran out on the suspension and no one got up off the bench. I wonder if he just told them already, don't, don't worry about running on. I'm going to do a timeout as soon as that's up. Because what he's trying to do very cleverly, Ulrich Wilbeck, since he still has his timeout, he's got 20 seconds 
when his team is going to be one man up and he just wants to sort out which tactic they're going to use. It will be a rehearsed move, a line up and try and take it. And if they do that, and score as late as possible, it will leave only six or seven seconds of possession time for Croatia, including getting the ball out of the goal, hopefully, if the Danish plan works. So Lino Sheva, calm as ever, giving his instruction to his team. So we are ready to go. And uh, the move yet to be played. Speller Bears back. I'm surprised that I put Boyson in the left and just gamble with Sonogor on the right and hope that uh, he can fire up a bit. Free throw. Six seconds remaining. And now Croatia are back to full strength. Boyson tries to surprise him. Long range shot easily picked out by Kasperwit and that's the half time buzzer. So Denmark, after a poor start, have tightened up the defense. They've hit Croatia on the break and with Balic misfiring, scoring just one from six in the first half. Stepping out on court and here we go, the second half of the Euro 2008 final. And Croatia at the moment have not scored for the last four and a half minutes of play. Oh. He fumbled it and gave it away there. And Jensen right through Mirko Alilovic, who's gone back in goal for Croatia. Taken by surprise, that ball suddenly appeared in between the defence. Well, interesting, Balic is not coming on. Instead, Croatia have put Josip Balcic, 23-year-old newcomer to the Croatian side, arrived here with just three internationals under his belt. Tactical ploy, Balino Sheva. Always Balic just worn out. Free throw. With so much hinging on Balic and his style of play where as I mentioned earlier, he doesn't tend to work well off the ball. He gets the ball and then takes players on one-on-one. -on -one. It means a very physical challenge each time for him. And it's very tiring. And in, maybe it's just all been too much for him. If you think these teams are playing their, their eighth match in 11 days, very demanding. Lakovic, though, finally scores for Croatia after a six-minute gap since the last goal. Still, they trail by three, 11-14, here it comes. Long way out, took up from 10 meters. Three defenders there, Bori doing his best to hold back some of them on the line. There he is, Lakovic. 103 internationals, 322 goals for his country. Well, the Danes will be I'm sure they all will be absolutely over the moon if they win here today, their first ever title in a major competition, European World Olympic, and they've given possession away. Although it's uh, an injury at the same time for Boyson. He's still on the ground. Taking a blow to the face, I think. Let's have a look here. And there's Boyson. Well, it was a follow-through, it wasn't intended. Tonsi Valcic trying to get the ball. He actually got his hand to the ball, but in the follow through, Boysen ran straight onto him. But uh, Croatia have possession again. He's still uh, struggling to get up at the moment, Boysen. Teammates already waiting back in defense. But uh, for Croatia, well, Balic is a long way down the bench as if uh, they don't intend to bring him out anytime soon. He's a tough guy, boys, and I'm sure he'll take it to get on with it. He plays for Lemgo in the German Bundesliga, scoring uh, 255 goals for Denmark so far in his 91 internationals. There's Igor Vori.
Good play. Flattens the defense. Josip Belcic running in. Free throw. Lakovic off a defender. Bit picks up the loose ball and back come Denmark. The wingers are waiting. Ah, oh, Jensen again. Blasts it straight to Alilovic. Look at this. Superbly used Balcic as a screen to shoot around him, and it means that Alilovic would only have seen that ball appear at the last second between the defenders. And the goalkeepers literally have fractions of seconds to react in. They've lost it again. Christiansen. Oh, good save. He tried to blast it. And then Nalilovic, if you look at his leg, goes up. He could just so easily have bounced it in on the knee. Jensen's pushing out a long way to Mark Medlicic. He drifts off into the middle instead. Lakovic, no space on the wing. And they've lost possession. Denmark have it again. This time Croatia have got back and covered the wingers. But still Jensen's loose. Nielsen goes off first. And Jensen now. And on come Bull Spillabert. And now Denmark changing a bit. Kasper Sonegor has come in to play right back. Not at a great championship, Sonegor. He's the only left handed right back they've got, the number 22. Scored only 12, a 36% success rate at that. But Denmark have no other options, hence they've been playing right handers, usually playmakers or left backs in that position instead. Jensen straight off Dominikovic. Two minute suspension. Metlic, it seems bemused by the decision. Let's have a look again and see. He's holding him, and he's got him around the neck, and that's the problem. And it's a penalty for the foul on Knudsen. And last Christiansen will take it. He's got a great record on the penalty line. And maintains it here. 21 from 22 penalties scored so far in this competition. And it looks like today he's going to maintain that good record. And now Denmark are leading 16-11. And still Croatia can't call on Balic. Again, they've given possession away. Luckily for them, the free throw has been given by the Spanish referees and Balic does come back on now uh, there's more at stake here than just gold medal in the European Championships oh, terrible pass oh you don't want to come out like that with Balic around he'll find space oh and last Christiansen's going to be off I think oh, I thought for a second that the referee had his uh, he has but it's Knudsen who's going to go off both teams are going to be short-handed Let's see uh, how that happened. There's Knudsen holding on uh, from a distance. I wonder, well, that's a bit of theatrics going on there, but that's not the incident that caused the problem. Could be just theatrics, not fooling the referees, but unfortunately, something that. Uh, the line player Knudsen did on Balic is what got him sent off. As I was saying, more than just a gold medal at stake here because the European champion will automatically qualify for the Olympics in Beijing. Corner. The runner-up will join other teams in qualifying tournaments in May. So an added incentive here today in Lillehammer for these two teams. Balic, Lakovic underneath Kaspervit, it won't count, he was in the area, 
landed before he let the ball go. Balic getting more and more worked up. Well, interesting. Balic is now being put into defence. First time he's been used in defence in the final. His demeanour, though, very negative, I have to say. He looks like he's uh, still pondering the last decision. Bolson's given the ball away. Landed again. It won't count. Krupic has shot. Disallowed. And the Croatian players and officials remonstrating with the referees. They've had to stop. Some of them even straying on court. They've got to be careful. Well, they're trying to calm things down. A yellow card has been given to one of the Croatian officials. Well, tempers getting uh, frayed a little bit here. All kinds of arguments going on. Lino Sherva is now arguing with the referees. And the yellow card has been given to one of the officials. And they're trying to get things settled. Here we go again then. Denmark then still short handed with Knudsen being off. Lasse Boysen has now moved into the centre. Collision between Dominikovic and Hans Lindberg. Free throw has been given, they're just mopping the ground. Just about getting ready to go. So here we go again, still this 6-0 defence. Free throw for Croatia, again an attacking foul, they run into the defender. Very messy at the moment. And Denmark finally back to full strength as Knudsen comes back on again. Spelaber has now moved into the right back position. Jensen is in the centre. Boysen tries to recover the loose ball. Just about does, but a dangerous long pass. Spelaber, Knudsen, they've scored. 17 11. Eight minutes in. Six goal lead. Who'd have believed it? Denmark streaking ahead here. Balic finally getting back into the action. But only his second goal in the game. Second line players going in. Denmark are putting in Lindberg. He steps on the line, gives the ball away. Dominikovic looks for options. Balic slips on the floor. And they've had to stop play again to mop up. He's just holding thigh a bit. And he's pulled the muscle as he slipped. 
Both uh, players on both sides picking up a few scrapes here. Don't wait to take the free throw. Vori drops in on the line. Balic tries to draw the defense. Medlicic, free throw at least. Lakovic, no way through. Balic drives through. Off the keeper again. He just isn't having the best of days here today. Ball goes back to Kaspervic. Well, Denmark, a lot of people said if anyone's going to surprise anyone here, it's going to be the Danes right from beforehand. Right from before the uh, competition. Ulrich Wilbeck has been talking a mean game. He's been announcing that uh, Denmark, we're going to win the European Championships. He declared to the press in Denmark, we're so good, I just can't see anyone beating us. Well, they lost the opening game against Norway. Was that off his shins? It was. Free throw to Croatia. But since that defeat in the opening game against Norway, and it was a close run affair, Denmark have just gone from strength to strength, and no one has beaten them. And the last time they played Croatia, they shocked everyone by beating them 30-20 in the main round. Oh, they're trying all kinds of different things now. Tonsi Valcic has gone into the left-back position. Two-minute suspension. Bo Spelleber is off. Valic is up very quickly, though. He seems to be OK. Well, the Danes, of course, will argue that if Balic is having a bad day here today, it's because they are defending so well. And they're just not giving him a lot of space. That's more like it. Ljubo Vukic, 25-year-old, who was brought in in the main round. Boysen tries to go through very deep 3 to one defense. Jensen passes out to Boysen, who's now playing in at left back. As Denmark have put in Hans Lindberg, pulled him around while their player short so they can keep the line player in there. That's come off a defender, it's going to be a corner to Denmark. Well, it's interesting, even though they're trailing by four goals. The Croatians still playing a steady 3-2-1 defence against the Danes. Should they be more adventurous? Should they be putting a player up front in defence to try and put the Danes under pressure and steal the ball? Loose ball. Croatia pick it up. They still have 54 seconds with the extra player while Spelleber serves out his suspension. Balic. He's not quite got that tonic we've seen in him so far in the competition. That goes Spoljaric. On comes Jubo Vukic. Ah, uh, even when they do break through, they can't score. Kaspervic pulls off a fine save. Off Medlicic, they've just stopped play briefly to mop up behind. Well, Kaspervic has been formidable, but Balic, well, it's not his day. The Danes are still controlling things here. Knudsen comes in from the side. They've got 12 more seconds to last before they're back to full strength. Jensen, Boysen, now back in more familiar territory. That's too sharp an angle. Whoa! He nearly surprised Dalilovic, came off his shoulder Denmark and the inside of the goalpost. And Denmark are back to full strength again. Spellebear suspension served out. Jensen comes off, Jönsson goes on. 
And now Casper Nielsen replaces Boysen. Uh, a lot of stoppages now in the game. 13 minutes into the second half, and Croatia still trailing. simply not as inspirational as we've seen him but the Danes this 6-0 defense has worked wonders for them but it's because it's very mobile Lakovic hard shot but well saved by Kasperovic and the Croatians have gone to a 6-0 defense they can certainly afford to go flat in front of Boris Spellebear, who seems to be uh, shy of shooting. But, uh, he is at least drawing the defence out. He's trying to create space for his teammates. Bolson in the fray now, down the middle. And it's going to be a free throw. Another suspension, a second one in the game now for Denis Poljaric, the back player. Still, though, the Croatians are pushing out. Penalty! Chance for Lars Christiansen, prolific goal scorer for Denmark. Superb atmosphere in the hall here, but at the moment it's the Danes who are cheering the loudest. Alilovic stays in goal, gets a quick piece of advice from Dominikovic. And Lars Christiansen, who's only missed one penalty the entire competition, 23 scored so far, steps up. And again, he's like a metronome. Uh, with the extra player, Denmark going back to this 3-3 defense, but this time the three front players are floating. They're right up individually picking players. Free throw for Croatia. Kasperovic, the goalkeeper, still with 43% save rate. Absolutely brilliant. Trying to find Vori. Lakovic instead nearly puts the ball out of play. Balic. Free throw again for Croatia. But passive play is being warned against them. Free throw. He's still down. Have a look again. Shove on him by Jönsson, his club teammate in Spain. Balic. I'm afraid that's not looking too good. It's uh, the right thigh being iced at the moment. He had problems with it yesterday against France. Well, has he been dead legged? It looks like he could have got dead legged when Jürgensen pushed him onto Jensen. Caught the knee, maybe. I thought that would be more on the outside of the leg. Still receiving treatment. They're just getting back up on his feet. He was off for just a short while yesterday against France. There's a total in the competition for him at the moment 42. He's just uh, two behind Karabatic of France now in the top scorer table. A penalty it is. Kasperovic moves right up. Oh, 
Can't do anything about that. Ivan Kupic. Scored five from six so far in Euro 2008. Gets Croatia to within four. And we have 14 and a half minutes remaining in the final. Too many steps. Ball Spellebert pushed off the ball. Well, he did so well, Kupic, to keep the ball. Free throw. Very close dangle. Knudsen would have done better to leave him because he, he had to struggle to get control of the ball. Just kept inside the court from there. Coming in at the angle he did, he should leave him. And that's probably what Wilbeck's saying. Why did you have to pick him up? Oh, actually, oh, that's better bear being sent off for two minutes. And gets a tongue lashing from Wilbeck as he comes off. Wielbeck, who's been in charge of the Danish men's team since the World Championships in 2005. Desperately wants to get his first title. Tonci Balcic pulls yet another one back for Croatia. <laughs> Turnovers are getting fairly level now. Denmark has suffered 16, Croatia 13. If anything, the Danes are giving more and more away now as the match goes on. Jensen, ball spell about. Amazing, ball spell about left back hasn't taken a single shot at goal yet. Well, he could argue the leading 18 15, so obviously uh, he's at least working on the uh, defense enough and finding the line player as he has just done there with Knudsen. Although he was unsuccessful against Alilovic. You'd almost be tempted to say, well, give Boyson a chance then at the uh, left back position and maybe try and bring in Sonogord right back. Oh, off the post. Danish ball and the break is on. Lars Christiansen. And he scores 19 15. With 12 minutes remaining, Alilovic reflects what could have been. It was a hairbred Smith by uh, Metlicic, and it led to a goal at the other end within five seconds. Croatia pull another one back. Ljubo Vukic. 25-year-old from Osiguranje. Nice height, moves towards the outside. A bit, maybe too static. Should have moved across. Realign himself with the goal behind. Just three goals in it. Oh, Boyson tries a long-range effort. Alilovic parries it away. Croatians upping the tempo here. Free throw. Collision between three of the players. Medlicic is down. Wrestled initially by Boyson. And then he ran into Jensen. Clock's been stopped. 11 minutes remaining. Jensen goes off as the two defense specialists step back on Jönsson and Kasper Nielsen. Lino Sherva, quick glance across to Balic. You fit? Well, he certainly doesn't look it. Heavy strapping on his right leg and he's limping a bit as he comes on. Mind you, he was yesterday against France and he still played brilliantly. He's slotted into the left back position. Well, that's an effort to try and get the ball into Ljubo Vukic a little more. Vukic, who's uh, coming good on the left wing. Croatian supporters still hoping for a comeback while the Danes well it's almost as if they can't bear to watch anymore the last few minutes here of the Euro 2008 final 
change the line play. Vori has gone off. Sulic is back on again. So they're keeping Tonchi Valcic, experienced playmaker, on into place. So that, that is superb save by Kasper Witt and Christian Cern scores. And all thanks to the Danish captain, a stunning save, and it's a seventh goal for the Danish winger. Look at that. Brilliant. Balic. And uh, Croatia will regret their poor finishing. Something uh, going on here. A bit of discussion going on. Metlic has tried to get him to stop it. But uh, Sulic, the line player, and Jørgensen have been sent off. And the referee having a word with both of them saying, cut it out. So, Lars Jørgensen takes his place on the bench. So here we go again. Oh, Denmark have played very well, but they will certainly owe a debt of gratitude to their captain Kasper Witt. Now that was nice by Medlicic. 17-20. Boyson then in the centre. Denmark playing with Lindbergh moving into a kind of right back, right wing position. It's effectively a 4 1 attack by the Danes. They prefer, even when they're short handed, to keep a line player in. And uh, oh, Bolson collision with Medlicic, and uh, he's already got a problem with his right car. But I wonder if that's uh, just sprung again. Oh, he looks in agony. Joachim Bolson. Have a quick look at this again, and you can see it wasn't a contact at all with Metlicic. He just did a dummy landing two footed to try and uh, shimmy, and uh, the old injuries hit him again. Now we've got a two minute suspension for Lino Sherva arguing with the referee. And it means that uh, Croatia will need to take off one of their players to serve the suspension. Sherva is continuing his argument with the referee. Well, we've got the... Uh, and that's the incident that caused all the Danish players to gather around Sulic. So it looks like... Uh, I'm trying to see who they've actually taken off. The number hasn't come up yet. They have to volunteer a player to come off court. They're trying to strap up uh, Bolson. Did look in so much pain. You wonder if he could come back on again. Nine minutes remaining in the final. Denmark still leading by three. Too many steps. Mistake by Kasper Nielsen, who's now in attack as well. Well, Dominikovic, as he comes off, as it were, the Lino Sherva, almost telling him, you know, you've got to calm down. It's because it's not helping us now that we're four against five. Free throw. Definitely a foul on Kupic, but the referee is having a word with him about not overdoing the theatrics. The foul by Kasper Nielsen. And he was doing it earlier, Kupic, when he went down after being uh, pushed, holding his face when he had no contact. Balic is down. To mop the floor up, and Balic trying his best. He was brought down by Lars, uh, as I say, Lars Jones is actually Kasper Nielsen again.
Balic again tries a long range shot. Vit saves. Balic's stats are looking worse by the minute. Two saves from nine attempts now. Look at this again. It wasn't particularly well placed either. Kaspovic still up at 41% uh, on the save rate. 12 from 29. The best of the Croatian keepers at the moment. Uh, Alilovic is on 24% only. Lindbergh. Back come the Danes. Boysen! Yes! Right through the middle. A four-goal lead. Time is running out on the Olympic champions, Croatia. Well, both teams have now got one of their players back, which means Denmark at full strength. Croatia still one short. Croatians also opting to keep Vori in on the line. Play three across the back, one right wing, and just leave the left wing out. Gap opened up. Tonsi Valcic. Clock has been stopped. And Croatia back to full strength now in the suspension, which they've had to serve out as a result of the two minutes given to their coach, Lido Sherva, is up. Seven minutes remaining for Croatia to turn this around. Very late call by the referee. Oh, and Shevaz at it again. He's going to be red carded. He is. He will have to leave the bench. He should have learned the first time. The others are joining in. It's not going to help them. Whatever reason it is, you just can't go on like that. And the table officials are now having to step in. Shava will need to leave the bench. And he should have known better. The referees were already after him, and he's continued the argument. And it means that Croatia will again have to take a player off for two minutes to serve out a suspension. They will be allowed to replace him after two minutes. But in the meantime, Sherva will have to leave the bench. He'll have to hand over responsibility for the last six and a half minutes of this game to the assistant trainer, Slavko Golutsa. Well, it's not the way the Croatians wanted it. Golutsa takes over. He's asking everyone to sit down and stay calm. A hugely experienced player, Golutsa. In the national team till quite recently himself. And he's just telling everyone to sit down. You can see him in the bottom of the picture with the green uh, timeout card tucked in the back of his tracksuit. Sherva still fuming up in the benches. There was the foul. When it came off his foot, you can't argue with that. It was a late call by the referee, but it was a correct call. Spell a bear. Boyson! Well, I'm afraid all the distractions on the bench have probably taken their toll on the Croatians. Denmark four in front again. That wasn't Golutsa, by the way. That's one of the other officials who got rather heated with Sherva earlier. And they've completely lost their shape in attack, Croatia. They're crowded in exactly the same place, so the Danish defence are about too deep where they are. Well, in the end, in amongst the chaos, somehow Balic pulls off an individual effort. He still believes. Still trying to direct things from the benches up in the gallery. Too many steps again. 
trying to move it up quick, hit them on the break, even though they're short-handed. It's about the time he should have gone left. Just hesitated. The block being put on by Spoljaric for him. And the clock has again been stopped. Just gone off to mop the ball down a little bit. Still Croatia short-handed at playing without the left wing. Oh, Balic. Well, he's taking it on as a personal mission to try and drag Croatia back into this game. Having had dreadful stats with two goals from nine attempts, he suddenly pulls out two crucial goals. They're just two behind. Spelebert tries to get the ball into the line. Free throw. The suspension's up. Croatia back to full strength. Vukic back on court. Absolute tension here late in the game. Balic still finds something to smile about in amongst all the chaos. He's on the bench at the moment. Slight problem, have they, with the clock? Are they uh, disagreeing with the timing? Well, on we have 55 23 played on the uh, screens there in the hall. The clock reads 55 31. I think they were slow stopping the clock, and the referee is checking to see if they get it readjusted or they're going to readjust on screen. Let's wait and see. A distraction the players didn't want now in the tension. There's the confirmation of the problem. As you can see, the two clocks slightly out. They're readdressing them. And we are lined up now. Spell about again. Too many steps. And maybe now is the time to get Boyson over on the left. Well, Wielbeck going mad on the Danish bench. I think he saw faulty substitution, he reckons. Free throw. They're skidding around here, Lars Jönsson, trying to find where the ball was. Balic tries to break through. He really is on a mission here. Helping his friend back up again, of course, Jönsson, his teammate at Portland San Antonio in Spain. Jönsson did well. The time is not on their side. Three minutes and 45 seconds for Croatia to turn it around. It's gone wide by Metlicic. That was a good chance. The defence flattened for him so he could get the shot in. And he missed the goalpost altogether. Denmark now can afford to slow the pace right down. Jensen, Boysen. Well, interesting, they have put Boysen in on the left back position. And it's a goal. The tension written on Wielbeck's face. A three goal lead with three minutes to go. Another long-range effort by Balic, fails. Four scored only now from 12. Not badly placed, but Kaspervit read it a long way out. Two and a half minutes away. And the Croatians now have to go more aggressive. They're pushing right up on Lasse Boysen, who's gone into the left-back position. It's a good decision by Wielbeck, I think. Bus Pelebert struggling late on in the game here. Blocked by the defence, Alilovic has got it. He needed to be quicker, he could have put it down to Kupic. Instead, Valcic brings it up himself. 
Balic still coming in. Well blocked by the Danish defence. We're into the last two minutes. Off comes Boysen to let Lars Jönsson come in and a timeout has been called. Called by Slavko Golutsa, the assistant coach of the Croatian team. Just wanting to try and get his team focused on what they have to do here. The best they can really hope for now is to try and level the game. It's going to call for unprecedented defence. If they could get back to within two, I would imagine the last attack would see them take off Alilovic in goal. Put on an extra court player with a bib. But all these distractions late on with players losing their tempers and getting sent off unnecessarily and the coach causing his team to get two two-minute suspensions. I'm afraid have played their part in leaving the Croatians short here against Denmark. Kasper Witt, who's still doing surprisingly well on 39%. With 13 saves, Alilovic only five saves from 24 attempts. So the players come back on again. The scenes in the hall will be amazing if Denmark win. The spectators applauding loudly already on the right-hand side. A sea of red. Balic again looks for this one-on-one -on -one confrontation. He's got to keep the ball moving instead. Penalty and the clock will be stopped. And a two-minute suspension. Jönsson is off. His second two-minute suspension. Here's the foul. Pulling back Balic. And it means that Denmark will finish the game short-handed because there's less than two minutes remaining. So, if Kupic can score, they'll be still two goals short with one and a half minutes remaining. And Kasperwitz, well, if ever there was a man standing with man of the match sign on his head, it's got to be Kasperwitz. The Danish captain has been phenomenal. Take no credit away from the rest of the team who've defended well and applied themselves well in attack. They have controlled Balic, restricted him to four goals from 12 attempts. And Bolson celebrates. Well, the Croatians have got to go all out now, three behind. Surely man-to-man -man marking is called for. Off the goalpost, the ball is out. Terrible pass down the court. The nerves are getting to them. Petkicic apologizes, but it's played into Denmark's hands into the last minute. And surely they're there. Denmark will win their first major competition. They are on the verge of becoming the new European champions. A nice long attack, passive plays being worn. It doesn't matter, Boysen scores. And the celebrations have started in the crowd. Boysen's gone over to have a word with the supporters. He can't believe it. And Croatia have given up. They're just moving the ball around. They want the end whistle to go and they want to get off court. Well, Denmark have controlled Balic and therefore controlled Denmark. Kasper Witt, what a performance. And there it is. And Denmark are the new European champions. They have beaten Croatia 24-20. Their captain Kasper Witt, brilliant in goal. 41% save rate, disgusted the Croatians. Balic restricted to four goals from 12 attempts. He couldn't do it for them.
Steve, is your home? Blue car? Shadow, come on this. Number three, Didier, Dinoy. Number five, Guillaume, Gip. Number six, Pardon, Gip. Number eight, Daniel, Marcis. Number eleven, Olivier, Chirou. Number twelve, Dandula, Carabou. Number thirteen, Nicolas, Carabaches. Number fourteen, Christophe, Kemper. Number sixteen, Thierry, Omeya. Number nineteen, Luc, Aboula. Number twenty-two, Jeffrey Franz, number 24, Sebastian Oesterberg, number 26, Cedric Pati, and number 30, Fabrice Gilbert. Give a warm applause for the French team and the bronze medalists. Number 